Hello and thank you for joining us here on WUTV. I'm Bodie Brooks. And I'm Georgia MacArthur. UWG police are scrambling for answers following a series of thefts in the biology building. Up to $5,000 of computer equipment is missing, including two laptops and various computer components. News 95.5 and AM 750. WSB Atlantis News starts now. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock. I'm Bodie Brooks, live in the WSB 24-hour news center. Breaking news from the WSB 24-hour news desk. A manhunt is underway right now in Gwinnett County. Police there searching for suspects in an officer-involved shooting. We last reported that officer was in critical condition. But as of this hour, WSB has learned that officer Antoine Tony has died. Gwinnett police are providing continuous updates on the situation and asking residents to be alert. There may have been as many as four people. Noonan Stone! Noonan Stone! 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 Protesters packed Noonan streets by the hundreds as neo-Nazis held a planned rally at Greenville Street Park. Roughly three dozen members of the National Socialist Movement attended the gathering, being met by massive barriers and lines of police in riot gear, separating the hundreds of screaming counter-protesters only a few yards away. What this protester had to say, he arranged to fly high above Noonan. I just wanted to send a message, and I figured uh, nobody could mess with the plane up there. The city of Noonan prepared for the worst. Assistant City Manager Hasco Craver confirming to me at least 700 officers on the ground from more than 40 different agencies. A handful of arrests have been made, but for the most part, the event has remained peaceful from the ground to the sky. Reporting from Noonan, Georgia for WUTV, I'm Bodie Brooks. A gun rights rally is being held in Atlanta this weekend, and organizers are having to pay to gather outside the Georgia state capitol. The Georgia Department of Public Safety confirmed Thursday that organizers will need to pay nearly $7,000 for security at the rally. What is some of your initial reaction following the summit? Well, initially my reaction is that, the, you know, the old Chinese proverb, a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, and it was a good first step. Uh, the president met uh, in Singapore with Kim Jong-un. She got out early, went to counties all across the state that touching, you know, in people's churches, in their schools, so that they got to know her personally. She put together a good on the ground uh, campaign. This is Hollingsworth Concrete. The family owned business at the center of an 18 month long GBI investigation into Carrollton City Mayor Walt Hollingsworth. A, it didn't go to him. B, it doesn't deduct out for the actual costs of the work. But C, I don't think it's covered by the prohibition because it's nothing he directed to himself. Most city construction contracts require companies to submit bids for the contract and one would be chosen by city council. But Hollingsworth's attorney argues the repair work Hollingsworth Concrete did, such as resealing this sewer grate, isn't contracted by city council. And companies don't even bid on it at all. The district attorney's office is reviewing the GBI's investigation to decide if the matter should be dropped, but if they believe there is wrongdoing. Good. Bring it on and we'll demonstrate that there's not. State lawmakers are in a mad dash to the finish line as the 2018 legislative session comes to a close. Lawmakers are working to pass a measure that will establish a free speech policy at schools in the university system of Georgia. Now in Georgia, voter turnout statewide is consistently low in midterm elections, but Rigby tells me early voting numbers already show that this year will be different. Like I said, equivalent to a presidential election. However, it's not just car patrols that work to keep West Georgia safe, but a continuous addition of new technology, such as these new license plate readers. And behind the scenes, eyes on your social media. You're picking up on these uh, parties that are being held. You're picking up on any threatening language or behavior. Kemp, who as Secretary of State oversees the elections, was sued by numerous civil rights groups over the exact match law, which requires voter registration applications to precisely match state records. It's a policy where even bad handwriting on an application can put your registration status in limbo. However, the final call isn't made at the state level but right here at your local county election office. We call the voters by phone and ask them how to spell their names if we have a problem. While the numbers ahead remain to be seen until election day, the critical message needed for both campaigns, get out the vote. 
reporting for WUTV, I'm Bodie Brooks.